feel that you managed to change people's minds about Russia last night, and what do you hope to achieve today? Well, today, uh, when we're going to be talking about uh, steel tariffs, about trade, uh, we've been working very hard to secure an EU-wide exemption to the steel tariffs that the Americans have announced. I'm pleased that they've announced a temporary exemption for the EU. What I'll be working with my fellow EU leaders today on is to see how we can secure a permanent exemption for the EU for those uh, steel tariffs, and we'll be talking about what the next steps might be. And I've stayed on to talk about those next steps because the steel industry is hugely important to the UK and to the British government. And I want to ensure that steel workers and their jobs are properly safeguarded. And I welcomed the uh, agreement last night from the EU Council uh, that they accepted, they agreed the United Kingdom government's assessment that Russia, it was highly likely that Russia was responsible for the attempted murder that took place on the streets of Salisbury and that there was no plausible alternative explanation. Prime Minister, we can see... What does today mean for Brexit? What does this moment mean, getting the transition rubber stamped? Well, it is important that we have made significant progress in the Brexit negotiations. Obviously, the EU Council will be looking to endorse the agreement that we reached earlier in the week with the European Union about the implementation period. We've made good progress on the withdrawal agreement. But also, I'm looking for a new dynamic in the next stage of the negotiations so that we can ensure that we do develop, that we work together to negotiate and develop that strong future economic and security partnership, which I believe is in the interests of the UK and the European Union. Union. Thank you. Thank you.